What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with a new episode for our Tresblon campaign in 1212 AD Medieval Kingdoms Total War. Um, we have, if you uh, do not know, taken the offensive against the Seljuks um, in our last episode and we are continuing that in this episode. And our aim, if you have not seen the first episode, which I fully recommend you go and do, is to restore the Byzantine Empire. So we have every other... Um, uh, basically every other necessity we just need to own the region of Constantinople and we can become the Byzantine Empire. So we, our plan is to just carve through the Seljuks and the Nicene Empire and then strike the Latin Empire. We are trading with them currently but we will be getting rid of that trade soon to be able to uh, just destroy them because we'll, I'd rather have the Empire of Nice, uh, the Latin Empire's capital than I would be allies with them. I can take their land and I can use that to fund my kingdom or empire. But we have now found uh, the, um, the kingdom of Silesia and the principality of Antioch. So I'm going to trade with these guys. And we're going to get some money out of them as well. I think I can get a bit more out of you from that. There we go. So that's perfect. A thousand out of them. Their trade. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Let's see how much we can get out of these guys. 1300, I imagine. Lovely. And now Jerusalem, we can now see. Name, so we'll trade with them. And this is going to help uh, finance possibly some buildings. Yeah, thousands, fine. Perfect. So we have now got plenty more money and a bit more income. So we can now build something in Kaffa, which has a population surplus. So I'll probably build... I can't build an Orthodox chapel. Shocking. Can we fund... Get some more funds elsewhere? Welcome, worthy guest. No. I trust you bring words Not from them anyway. Not from Epirus. I guess Epirus sees this as a rival to the throne. Because they also can claim it. Welcome, uh, trade friend. with these guys. No, still won't take it. Well, uh, they're very bizarre. Um... The Shervan Shardam, can we get trade My with you? No. Military access, you they're high. 1300? No. 800? Clearly they're very poor. Seljuk pretenders, they're doing their thing. Um, the Zardom of Bulgaria, can we trade For with you? Part, no. The Kipchaks, possibly? Well, why do you trouble my dike? No, I'm a bit worried about the Kipchaks. Uh, I do with fear they might attack us. But anyway, we may just end the turn then, and we'll use the money next turn to uh, basically just to get a chapel. <laughs> spend all our money on that. It's an exciting time to spend all our money on chapels. Um, so I'm probably going to spend uh, on that and then tax. Um, so we all hope to get some more money in from taxation from Kaffa, which would be great. So I hope you guys have en were enjoyed the last episode uh, of this new campaign. Um, it's seen to be a great response from you guys so far. Um, I really appreciate all the support. Um, it's really helping out the channel. And we're so close to 900 subs now. Um, so if you haven't already, then please do subscribe uh, and like and comment as well. And hit the notification bell, why not? So you know everything that's going on in the uh, on the channel. Okay, there is going to be a huge battle, it would seem. Which I can't fight because the Seljuks will also get involved. And I don't really want to be involved in a fight with the Seljuks and the Nicaea. So, it looks like... What a weird retreat that was. Um, a non-aggression pact and they all offered me 200 coin. Yeah, sure. Um, that was an interesting move by Nicaea to help the Seljuks out. So clearly they're that threatened that they're like, right, we're just going to have to help the Seljuks out. So our Siege of Ankyra has been stopped and it looks like we're gonna have to uh, just basically reorganize that. Trezebon, I do like this, they just attack the garrison so the garrison's just gonna kill them off and uh, carry on the fight. Take on the warriors. Military access, How? that's high, well I'd like some money. There you go, I'd like that. Military access 500, yeah sure. Perfect. And then he's died, Tresbond Pretenders are dead, perfect. So that's not gonna, so that's only minus nine now. So that's excellent. I may, oh they've taken Kai, Kaisara or whatever it is, interesting. 
I'd be interested to see if the Kingdom of Silesia would happily join this war. The pleasures of my household are yours. You'd have a you would possibly First have though, the necessary burdens mm. of diplomacy. No, I didn't think so. Okay. I was hoping to see if they'd uh, make some sort of deal. Uh, you are still very unhappy, so you won't do anything. Can I raise more armies? I could raise more armies. But first, let's build in Kaffa that chapel. And start with the conversion of this place even more. Which would be great. Um, and then I'm going to... I don't know. What does this one do? don't really need that yet. Um... Civic buildings would be kind of handy to bring down the cost of them. That's always handy, I guess. Um, and then I can do this one, which helps with cultural wealth. That would be quite good. Um, I could put in another army. The Blades of Mercy, I could put in just like a really small army here. Is the garrison here nearly sorted? No, it's not. Not for a little while, but it is pretty safe from any invaders. Like, we're not at war with anyone over here. So that's 12. I could just move like down here temporarily or I could just go back to uh, Snowpay, which is more likely what I'm going to do and just get the replenishment here. Oh, I can now recruit. What, how come I can get these? Is it because of this large city? It is. So I can get some more archers and I can get these sort of light cav, which I'd rather get these guys, I think. So I'm going to get some Georgian Lancers. So that really re reduces my income, but they're very elite. They're like, well, they're not very elite, but they're very good. Medium shot cav, they'll be pretty handy. They're better than anything. Actually, these guys are heavy shot cav. Oh god, these cataphracta are pretty good. Um, but I may just uh, also recruit a second army, which I'll recruit in Trebizond because they can get the best units. So Theodosius... Isaacius, or these are all pretty good at being governors. Um, I guess I'll make Isaacius one. The Wrath of Heaven seem to come. The let's. I don't know. I could rename these guys later. I guess. Um, we'll put some spears in for now. Three spears, perfect. Um, there we go. So we'll do that. And can't really build anything else. This is going to help reduce that public order, which would be perfect. So end the turn. Oh no, unassigned skill for David first. David can have armor for his commander's unit, I guess. Um, you can have authority and you can have cunning. So that is going to help bring down Trezebon's disorder for a little bit, which will be great. Um, I don't think there's much else I can do. Venice, I imagine, won't have much that they'll want to help me with. They'll take a defensive alliance though, so that's good. Uh, and then we'll end the turn there, I think. End the turn. I would like the Nicaeans to leave. So I can then possibly send up this army from Matalea. Uh, or Malatya, sorry. Not, uh, Malatya to Ankyra with this army from Sunup. And then we can uh, move from there and probably go down for Nicaea. Because I'm not really too interested in these bits. Get these regions over here. And then we can go for Constantinople in a couple of turns. Well, hopefully in a couple of turns. If all goes well, a couple of turns, but it never goes to plan. Got to remember that. Our armies seek a route through your lands. Well, I'd like they money. Act with respect and um, si order. 300. Yeah, you can have that. You can have a military access through my land for 300 coin. Um, hopefully no, no, one, no one else from the east starts to cause a problem because I don't really want to have to deal with anyone over there. It's not part of my plans. Certainly the Ayubids. I don't want to have another war with the Ayubids. It's scary enough already. No warrior like stuff. Yeah, there you go. Defensive Alliance is perfectly fine. The North is perfectly happy with me. But are the Kipchaks? Um, okay, so this army is going to be occupied in a rebellion. Whatever happens by the looks of it. Orthodox Christianity is going down. Which isn't brilliant. I could do with recruiting a priest. But I can't. Not here anyway. Um... This army is basically fully replenished. I'm going to send it back to Ankyra. Um, I'm going to... Actually... If I just move this army round here... Then I don't think Nicaea can get me. And then we'll put the ladders up. And now Nicaea is going to... It's going to take them a lot more to, like movement points to get around and actually attack 
my army instead of it being over here. So that's fine. Um, we're recruiting here. This army is going to have to be occupied in a rebellion next turn, which is fine. Uh, money, we could spend it. Could we spend it in Kaffir? No, it's still taking two turns. That's a shame. Um, this is going to take... Butcher shop is going to take a little while to produce as well. That is annoying. Um, Trebizond. I'd like to put a public order thing in here soon, so I can just help with that. Um, food is also still a massive problem here, actually. So I might want to actually do public... Food might actually be better than public order. Yeah, that actually might be a better choice. Food's fine here. Snow, food's fine. A uh, Snopey food is fine there. Right, so that's good. Um, I've got money. I don't really need to spend it on anything. I could buy more mercenaries, but don't really need them. Um, these guys look pretty cool, though. When we, I might get them when I have a bit more of an income. So maybe when we take an Ankyra. I could go for Iconium. Knock out uh, Iconion. I uh, can knock out the Seljuks, basically. I'm probably going to have to just keep, knock both the factions out before I can really go for the Latin Empire. But it shouldn't take too long. Um, we're, because we're kind of snowballing a little bit now. Um, is there anyone? I don't think there's anyone new I can see. No, we've not found anyone new. That's fine. Um, we'll end the turn. I oh, know we won't because you could have got some stuff. Yep, you can have Romanos. Um, have public order. Have some tax rate as well. So that'll help there, but that's probably going to... They're going to have a rebellion, whatever happens, so not much I can do about that. Hopefully, Nicaea doesn't get involved in this, because Nicaea, it's not your fight. I'll fight you on your own land later. Patience, my rival for the e Emperor's throne. You should be going after the Latin Empire, not after me, really. Here they come. Here they Kipchak's now the Empire of Nicaea. Nope, they're not going to come and try and march out again. So my move of coming around further around has worked. Excellent. So we'll uh, either siege them out or we'll see. Um, there's a rebellion that's just popped. So um, we'll cut that down. This uh, general can get some extra, I don't know, XP, experience, um, whatever it's going to be. Noble birth. Ah, we've had a noble birth, have we? Excellent. I need to have a look at this old Leon. He's he's uh, eight years old. He's looking looking very young and proud and excellent. Um, you could become a Lethici or whatever that is. That's good. So you're going to be a very good governor, as David. But that's your command. That's about it. <laughs> um, right. I oh, you can have public order. Yes, that could be very handy as a general. A uh, zeal, and then I'd like you to have um, integrity for your army. <laughs> Not that you really need it. Um, this army kind of does need re rejigging around. I can certainly give it some more some, some more elite stuff. So I'm guessing this might have been a decisive victory. Take on any any guys. Perfect. Cut him down. Yes. Straight right across the chest. Excellent. Right. So we probably trespassed a little bit into someone's territory. Other oh, you bids. Well, I apologise. Um, and that's now going plus. That's great. Um, and I can make a would be helpful, but I really want an Orthodox church. So how much is that going to cost? Six thousand. Jeez, my income's just taking a massive hit for some reason. So morale, and then I'm going to put in um, integrity for now. So it's going to keep this integrity of this army going straight up. So that's perfect. Um, and now we'll look at Ankara. Um, right, yeah, you're not actually going to take this anytime soon, I don't think. I could move the army from Trebizond. Wrath of Heaven, could it reach? No. Then I'm okay, I'll leave it here. I guess it's gone down because I've just recruited all these troops. Quite possibly, and because it, this will be a problem soon. Um, fishing docks. We could do that. That's sort out the food here for, like, for so forever. Um, it is going to bring down my... Public order by one. I will put the fishing docks in. It's going to help with the income. That could be handy. Um, and it's going to help food, which we're ever so saw slightly doing okay. Um, and then Ankyra. Yeah, we could do with some more food, I think. Right, so I'm going to end the turn. Oh, no, I'm not. Philippos has now got something that he needs doing. Um, you're a governor. I'm not really going to give you any of them. Um, you can have 
that one and tax yourself. Excellent. So we're now making a thousand again a turn because of that little tax boost. So we are getting through quite a few turns. I'd like to uh, kind of just take Ankyra as soon as possible, which is kind of why I'm getting through as many turns as possible. Um, and then we're going to... I'm probably going to go through... I don't know if I can go from Malatya to Kaizira to Ankyra that way with this army. So it's going the whole way around. We'll see. The Kipchaks could really do with uh, having military access because they keep wanting to the storm has uh, walk enough. through. No, I'm not going to. I'm... I know I've got war weariness high, but I could just take your capital now, and it would be very handy. I'd like your capital. My lord wishes to um, yeah, I'll make peace with you. I'm not so fussed about being at war with them. I know that all anger Georgia, but Georgia will be happy enough. I'm, we're, we're good enough friends as it is. They don't need to worry about it. Non-aggression pact Seljuk pretenders. Oh, they took Iconium. There is much sense to a treaty between us. You can have it for nothing. I don't really want to fight the pretenders. You can have a non-aggression pact. Offer secured. There we go. Very nice. Oh, the Ottomans have ri risen up. Ah. Nice. They won't help in the siege. Let them cower like but we do have Ottoman rebe rebels now. Well, I don't really know if I want the Ottomans to be around. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll send the uh, bl Blades of Mercy for one turn there, so it will hurt their, um, well, the income, well, not income, the uh, public order here. Ortho Orthodox Christianity is going up, that's good. And Kyra is now well and truly going to be mine. Aggressive. Cut them down. Excellent. And they are good as dead. We lost 200 men. I would have lost a lot more. Definite. And Ankyra has been taken. Perfecto mundo. Alright, so we're going to repair that. Um, I'll repair the earthen mox because I can convert that. I'll repair. Actually, to be fair, I, oh, I've got to knock this down apparently. A silk trader. Oh, I don't have the money. Um, I'll knock that down and I'll knock that down. Though I'd rather not. We're only making four food. Oof. Not so good. Um, yeah, I'll... Actually, I could just wait for the money and I'll repair it next turn. Probably the better idea. Um, have... You can have uh, integrity and that'll help with public order. Not that you really need it. And then I'll just recruitment cost, I guess. And then the army can have morale. And you can have... Uh, you can have replenishment in this army. I'll help. With th that's pretty handy. And this guy has nothing they need to do. And we have, uh, I might put in, hmm, don't know what I'll put in there. What could I put in here? I would like to put in something that can help with food, but also helps with public order. I'm pretty sure there might be something for that, but I'll have to see. I don't think there will be. But a tavern helps with public order, but it does take food away, which we do kind of need. Palace, which is kind of like the um, noble Domesne, I presume, is yeah, that's kind of handy. It helps with money. Um, could take a gibbet. I think there's not going to be anything that helps with food and with public order, so I'll probably just put in something to help with public order because food is kind of fine here. And uh, we can up the uh, stuff in Ankara for public order, so that's fine. Um, is that can we see anyone new? No, we can't. Seljuk pretenders. Do you the honor we can trade payments. To hear wisdom and high. That's very high. You got a lot of money, clearly. Well, I'll take your. I'll take fifteen hundred off you. So I'm sure you will take that fifteen hundred and trade. There we go. So I can now afford to uh, repair this. And I could actually probably afford to uh, do something there, but I don't care. Uh, I'll leave the Seljuk pretenders to do their thing. If they then become a problem, I will have to kill them. Um, Sicily, I'd really like I if we could have trade. It would really help. Yes, finally we can get trade with you. Perfect. Uh, Non-aggression. Um, no, I didn't think so. That's fine. Trade's all we need. Trade will help with the money problems. Um, I don't know about you guys yet. Still, Epirus. Trade. No, I didn't think so. I imagine I'll never get traded with you. 
At least we're up to 1,200 now. Um, let's see if we can do anything here. I doubt it, so I'll just have to leave this till probably next turn to actually be able to do anything. I'd like to put in maybe... I'll probably put it... I don't really want to put in a field. Um, so I'll probably put in a... Probably a platea or whatever, however you say that. And just hope with public order. Um, so we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. At least we take an Ankyra and we can then move on to Dora Leon because now Iconium's kind of just cut off our expansion south. So we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, that might be retaken anyway, so we'll have to see whether the soldier pretenders can hold it. I also now need to kill off these rebels that have appeared here. Which shouldn't be too hard. That should be simple enough. See if the Nicene Empire also comes for a strike. Oh yeah, I need, should really need to offer these guys just public up. Uh, Nicene Empire wants peace. No, not happening. Here they come with... He's a priest. He's going to try and do something. Hopefully he dies. Because he's not allowed to uh, just mess around with my... Uh, with my cities. Oh, and the Seljuks are going to come up. Uh, Principality of Antioch wants to give me a thousand for, uh, for non-aggression. Perfect. I'll take all your money, Crusaders. Um, you just carry on God's work and killing the Ayubids off. I mean, not that we really worship the same... Well, we do worship the same God, but just in a different way. I'm not really sure how it works. Orthodox, Catholic stuff. Someone can explain it to me at some point. Um, they off... <laughs> To take to arms against this oh, I'll fine, I'll do it, but it makes me untrustworthy, but it gives me a lot of money. I didn't really want to do it, but it's giving me a lot of money, which I really need right now. Mission failed. Um, well, I'm sorry, I did do it. What is it? I would have got great orthodox reward. Oh, damn it. Um, I swear, oh, in, I have to build it in Kaffir. It's better, oh, it's a majority in Kaffir. Well, I'm... I'm getting there, it's nearly a majority. Um, I need to convert this everything here first before I can do anything. I'll make this a walled city. Um, I will convert this to a field. I'll convert this to a player. And I'll co so annoyed that it takes, costs so much to convert stuff. At your command. Uh, the weak army can just deal with these guys. At once. I'm going to have to send this army anyway back to Malatya. It's not going to reach it this turn either. Yep, yeah, well, you've done your bit there. You can just take on warriors. Stab him. Oh, beheads him. Very nice. Well, the Ottomans are dead again. Or they haven't actually been alive once yet. That was their first first outing and they died. Um, right, so you can sort of go back to Malatya. You've got your garrison anyway now, so you're pretty safe from any attacks if they try anything. Um... This is plus four. This is great. Um, the Walkers of the Way could move on, but I don't really want them to. Uh, see if I can get any money. Don't. I'm sure the Kipchaks will. They hate me now. Surely you want military access. No, they don't. I don't think Kaffa could hold against an attack from them, but we'll see. Eh, maybe. It would be interesting to see. I think I'll ha I'll hold it. I think the Kipchaks will just... I think they're in their own war anyway with... Oh, they're at war with a lot of people. I don't think they've got time to be fighting me as well. We'll see. Um, I may be wrong. Oh, are they at war now? The Seljuk Pretenders now at war with... These chaps. They're at war with a lot of people actually already. And at war with Jerusalem. Hmm. They won't like me for making treaties with them then. But that's the... Well, I need the money. That's a shame, but I need the money, so... Oh, well. Do you know what? Uh, no, I didn't think you would. You. Um, I could just move on, but I don't really want to. I'm getting 2,000 a turn again, which is great. Um, I've got something here as well I can expand. I could do with food, obviously. But I'd really like to put in a potatia or whatever it's called there. And I really need to convert that as well, because that's going to just be spreading. I might be just be better at knocking this down. Because it's actually spreading Islam, and I really don't want that. I'll knock it down for now, because it's spreading Islam. Um, they convert... Yeah, just knock it down for now. And we'll end the turn. And then I think next turn I'll move on... I don't know. I might move on Dora Leon. I'll see. I may move that up. Uh, 
Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I may, I may decide to uh, just. I don't know. We'll see. I think I might move this army up from Trebizond to Ankara. So that just be because Ankara won't have a garrison yet. And um, there's the rebels again, doing their thing, harassing. They may just attack at the end of this turn because it seems to be the thing that the Trebizond rebels do. They just commit suicide, and run at my walls. It will be interesting to see what happens here with the Seljuk pretenders. Now that Silas, Silas, he might come into a war with them, um, or uh, Jerusalem might. Who knows? Or I might get called in a war against Silas and that, which I'll then have to say no. Actually, no, I won't because I've not got uh, a, I haven't got a uh, alliance with them, so they won't call me in. Or they can try, but I'll definitely say no. So we have more births. So we have an Isaac Kios, and we have I think this one isn't it Ulia. Iolia? I don't know. I don't know. It's one or the other. Right, so I'm going to put in a church here. That's basically all my money gone. Um, yeah, I can't really do anything here. It would be lovely to put something in here. But I can't. Um, the army is going to go back and uh, kill these guys. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get them. Let's see. No, they... Uh, yeah, we can reach them. We'll kill them again. Kill them. Very nice. Instant kill. Size victory. Take on the warriors. And then you can force march back. Oh, no, you can't. Eh, go into... Force march and says you get some replenishment, I guess. Um, I will do that and then that one. So he's getting pretty good as this guy. He's getting pretty damn good. Um, I'm then going to do... What else do I need? Oh, I need... This one also to then do literally revival. Um, I'll do this one because that one's pretty. I need to reduce the cost of religious buildings. They're really expensive. Like that's really expensive. I need to get bring those prices down. Um, I can't see anyone new still, but Zardom of Bulgaria is really expanding. Um, these guys just hate me. I'm not surprised because I just did so, uh, make a peace treaty and then say, nah, I've just changed my mind. Um, Ankara is going to have not have a city defense for a few more turns. It's not even going to have anything for a while. Um, hmm. Kind of in a good spot, really. Don't know. I could carry on pushing. I would really do with having a do I have anything yet for a priest? Oh no, I was supposed to put the guy in here so I could get a priest. And it was recruitment of priests. Yeah, it costs so much to get an orthodox chapel. Like, so much more. Double the cost to get a church. Actually get stuff being useful. Um, have I got... I thought I was building one here. Uh, I, was, I hoped I would be, but I'm not. Um, I could do... Put more fields in, I guess. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll put more fields into Snope. Um, that's going to help with the income, and it's also going to help with food. Um, I could actually, yeah, I'll put the, that one in, and then I could put in um, the meat one. Which one is it? The meat market. Yeah, put that one in, and then I can work my way down here. And that helps with growth and income. Yeah, we'll do that. That, that works, actually. That's not a bad idea. I would like to really get some Orthodox chapels and stuff going, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case for a while. Um, and then I could really need to go for one or the other of these cities or strike them both at the same time but I don't think we can do that yet for a little while so I'm probably going to wrap up the episode here guys I hope you guys have enjoyed um, if you have please leave a like and subscribe and until next time legionnaires bye for now